Xpeng has literally bamboozled BYD with unbelievable pricing, especially in the UK. What is even more impressive is that the Xpeng is based on an advanced 800 volt architecture like the Porsche Taycan. The result is three major advantages that the Sea Lion just cannot counter. First is the ultra fast charging. To put it simply, the Xpeng long range can add 20 kilometers of range every minute. If you compare that to a similarly priced Sea Lion, it is two times slower. To counter this, BYD does offer a long range model, at least in the UK, which is called the Excellence. But that model is £14,000 more expensive than the Xpeng. And yet, charges 25% slower than the Xpeng. On top of that, the Xpeng also has the highest range of 570 kilometers or 354 miles. That is almost 15% more than the top and sea line. That being said, the Xpeng's advantage in range is not only due to its high voltage system, but also because of its well-engineered monocoque chassis. It is almost 300 kilograms lighter than the sea line, in spite of being just 2% smaller in size. The sea lion does have one redeeming attribute, which is its performance. But only in the all-wheel drive variants. If you are willing to pay 4,000 Aussie dollars over the long range Xpeng or 7,000 quid more in the UK, you can get a 500 horsepower monster. It is quicker than a Porsche Boxster at 100 kph. But it is not really a nimble, playful machine. It is purely for straight line thrills. But that doesn't mean it's just for boy races. There is also a practical, everyday use of all that power which becomes clearly evident during each and every overtake. You have to plan your move somewhat in the Xpeng, whereas the all-wheel drive BYD effortlessly pulls ahead. This is exactly what the great visionary Jezza Clarkson foresaw 20 years ago. And today, it is especially true for electric vehicles. Because 500 horsepower electrics are not even 10% less efficient than 300 horsepower ones. Plus, their cost is also less than 10% higher, but their value is certainly far, far better than their lower variant, which has some mediocre horsepower. The only problem in this case is the significant compromise in range and charging speed compared to the Xpeng. Coming to the features, both cars are pretty evenly matched. Check out the pinned comment for a comprehensive comparison of tech and equipment. Last but not the least, the Sea Lion is soon to be replaced by BYD's real ace of spades, called the Tang L. It is slated for launch by the end of the year. We have made a quick three-minute preview on the cutting-edge tech that BYD is developing for the Tang L, whose link will also be available in the pinned comment. Thanks a ton for watching till the end. Check out this controversial video that we have published recently. And please type out all your criticisms and disagreements in the comment box below. We absolutely enjoy replying to each and every one of them.